right, everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to do an engine alignment using some pretty common hand tools. Uh, the only thing that you will need to get is the engine alignment tool. Let me show you real quick what that looks like. Uh, if you remember my prior videos, it's kind of what the end of it looks like. I got some grease on there. Um, it's a pretty long little tool. I'm going to set it down here so you can see on these ramps here. Mine's kind of rusted a little bit, but pretty long tool. You can get it pretty cheap on Amazon, eBay, you know common places here but um, the reason we're gonna do an engine alignment on this one today is because the stern drive when we went to pull it off was pretty it's pretty tough getting it out um, and you can tell you know if it's the adhesive holding it or if it's the engine coupler so in our case uh, the engine coupler sits behind the gimbal bearing um, and if it runs out of alignment then obviously it's gonna be hard getting your stern drive out so in theory you know, if your engine is aligned perfectly, which in some cases it is, some cases it's not, um, you know, it should just come right out. But in our situation, it uh, was tough getting out. And um, real quick here, I'm gonna take the engine alignment tool. We're gonna slide it in through the gimbal bearing. And I did put a little bit of grease on there to kind of make it easy, but, um, all right, did you see how hard I had to press on that to get that in there? Uh, and you got to hear that machining noise. That is way too tight check this out and keep in mind I got a little bit of grease on here too see how hard that is to turn no wonder right getting that stern drive out was so tough well there you go so um, I've recently put in a new um, deck in here and redid the um, engine mounts and everything so as you can imagine, we probably have had some settling of that um, wood that was inside the fiberglass. So naturally, um, we're probably out of alignment as a result of everything kind of, kind of settling down. So um, we'll jump inside the boat here real quick and kind of show you uh, an easy way to get this thing back into alignment. You definitely will need a second person. Um, and I'll tell you why, because, you know, you're in the boat, right, and you're adjusting the engine mounts. You need someone on the fly to tell you, yes, the alignment is better, or no, the alignment is not better, because if you're having to jump in and out of the boat, you're gonna be here all day, and you're never gonna get that sweet spot, guaranteed. So uh, whatever you gotta do, find a second person, sit them on a bucket or you know a seat or something, and have them run this, and then when this thing gets like zero resistance on it, uh, you're good to go. But uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna go inside the boat real quick, and um, show you a little bit in there. Okay, so now we're inside the actual boat itself. Um, you'll see I have a few uh, marine grade plywood spacers on mine right here. That's just because when I rebuilt my transom, I actually made it uh, roughly the thickness thicker here. So as a result, I had to increase this, this angle um, but yeah, my transom is super, super duper thick. If you want to, you got some uh, curiosity behind my transom video, go check that out. It's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, but like I said, this is really good plywood. This is not your run of the, uh, run of the mill Home Depot Lowe's, you know, Ace Hardware um, type plywood. This is very expensive stuff and it's been uh, impermeated with the, uh, or sorry, impregnated with the uh, resin as well. So it's over the past year, as you looked, I mean, it's been handling it pretty well. But anyway, that aside, let's get back to what we're here to do is the uh, the engine alignment. Now yours in general should look just like mine here, uh, minus the, the marine grade plywood um, seats that are sitting on that here. Um, what you want to do is go ahead and loosen this nut right here. Okay, so you'll use your crescent wrench. And on the top nut, you just want to you want to loosen the top nut. It's just kind of to keep everything in place. But for what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and loosen it. All right. Now, how much you loosen it, it's kind of up to you. If if you just got done doing a transom and you're doing this, this process is going to get you close. But really. This uh, video is gonna, it's just for people who have had their boat and they're just doing some general maintenance with it to actually adjust for the engine um, alignment for a brand new transom and a brand new floor and everything. That's a whole different process. I mean, it's, this is kind of close, but uh, I would need to have, I would 
definitely need to do a new video for that. But if you're curious about that, um, leave some comments in the um, comments field. Let me know that's something you guys want to see, and then you know maybe I'll do one. But um, this is just going to be for your general purpose, you know, yearly uh, edge alignments that most people need to do. All right, uh, let's go to the other side. Okay, and let's go ahead and loosen this one as well. It's a little bit tighter to get to. Uh, let's move my wrench around a little bit closer so I can get to it. All right, so that yeah, should be pretty good. All right, so the, uh, the question is, let's go to the other side. There's more room. Okay, so the, uh, the question is, you know, I did have it, right, uh, alignment-wise, perfect last year. No problem, right? Uh, but now, for some reason, the engine is out of alignment. So, you know, some things you can look here is to see did it scoot left and right, and I've already done that. Um, no issues there. Um, there are some uh, motor mounts in the back. Those you should not have to adjust. Those are going to be pretty much uh, just there. Um, and you shouldn't be having to adjust those. All your engine alignment should be taking place up front. But um, if you're doing a new transom install or you had just done one and now you got to do the engine alignment, you actually will have to play with the ones in the back I had to. But um, for this video and for the purpose of most people out there who are doing uh, engine alignments, you're just going to be playing with these bolts. So, uh, so the big question is which way do we turn the nut? Are we... Are we jacking the engine alignment up or down? And the easiest way to think about it here is, you know, there's a lot of wood in here. I've got um, tons of wood and the wood settles, right? This engine's pretty heavy. We've been bouncing back and forth on the, the waves. So 99% of the time, you're gonna need to move your engine uh, back up. Uh, just because like I said, all the wood uh, under here has probably settled over the past year. So if you're asking me, which way do I go initially? Um, after a brand new transom, uh, that's a different question. But if, if it's just for your, your yearly maintenance and um, your engine's out of alignment, which way do I need to start with? Your, your best bet is to go up. All right. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I got my uh, helper in the back already. And what I'm going to do is just make equal turns, whatever I do on the left side, uh, just like an algebra class, right? <laughs> whatever you do on one side, you do on the other. Uh, that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to turn uh, this bolt. In the upward direction and then same thing on the other side real real slight turns and my uh, partner in the back will tell me it's getting uh, harder to turn or it's easier to turn and it's very important too that the person uh, in the back gets a good idea or a good feel for what it feels like to turn the engine alignment tool multiple times ahead of time so because as you start turning this it may be like uh, did it get easier did it get better uh, you won't know. So that's that's why um, while they're back there, just have them turn it a few times. Don't you know? Don't let them get carpal tunnel by any means. But um, definitely, um, they need to get a feel for that. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get a few turns on this one right here, and then I'll turn on the other side as well, and we'll see how um, how the resistance is. All right. So um, both sides, I turn this. Um, this bolt where it raises up did a total of um, it was about 10 mini turns and this this when I say mini turns is you know maybe like a quarter turn because I'm not trying to get like a full rotation so I did about 10 of these right on both sides um, and one little if you if you start to, if you start to lose track I like the loosey goosey uh, sorry uh, righty tidy um, method here because you're sitting on your side um, grab this bolt right before you go to turn it and say, look, I need, I need my engine alignment to go up, right? So this can be, you know, your way to cheat is I, I want it to go up, right? So you want to turn it uh, counterclockwise, right? So same thing down here. You want it to go up, turn it towards you. And that's just the easiest way. I get disorientated a lot here that, you know, doing righty tighty and I'm like, uh, which way am I supposed to turn it? Uh, you know, you use this one as the way to cheat. But anyway, I did, um... I did some uh, about 10 quarter turns at the bottom here, and um, let me get, holler at my my helper out there. Hey, how's it feel uh, back there? Is it nice, easy to turn? Yeah. All right. She says we're good to go. 
Um, before we tighten these, I mean, I'm going to take her word for it, but before, you know, we tighten everything down all the way, let's go back there and see what the effort actually feels like. All right. So my helper is 12 years old. Check this out. See how effortless it turns now? This is what you want. Two fingers, right? So I'm going to go back to mine here. Two fingers. Check this out. Super easy to turn. Um, if you don't do this, say goodbye to your gimbal bearing. Um, it's a must to, uh, you know, as a yearly maintenance, when you pull the stern drive off, you got to make sure your engine is aligned. Okay, so I, I threw a tape measure in here real quick. So this is what you're looking at. When your alignment tool is all the way in from the back here, and this is a standard one, um, if you need to know which one I'm using, just let me know in the uh, details and all, the comment details, I'll let you know, but 15 inches is all the way in. And like I said, this thing, um, you should be able to slide it in and out. Remember, this is just like your, your stern drive, that um, drive shaft that goes into the engine coupler. Look at this. I mean, wondering why your stern drive is so hard to get out. Well, there you go. You should be doing this every single time. I recommend once a year until your, um, you know, engine engine mount uh, settles pr uh, properly. But uh, this is just mine. To be expected in this situation. All right. So I'm back in the... Uh the actual engine area right now and before you call it good before you take that engine alignment tool out make sure you go in here and tighten these down and make sure you didn't throw off your now perfect engine alignment okay so yeah don't call it good until you get these things tightened down all right i'm gonna go ahead and tighten mine all right so there you go i got this top bar uh top nut here screwed down all the way um I just had my partner double check and she said everything was good uh, on the back. That was how you adjust the engine alignment. Like I said, there are some bolts in the back. You should not have to touch those. Um, if you do have to touch those, and the only reason you should is if it's a brand new transom and you changed the thickness, right, of the actual wood part of the transom. If you, if you change that, congratulations. Now you're going to have to play with those bolts back there. So let's just say you kept everything pretty well stock. Um, you know, that's how you do it. Just these uh, two bolts. Um, when I say two bolts, it's this one and the one on the other side to adjust it. And that's really all you have to do. My engine alignment now is perfect. So remember, you got that stern drive off. Um, you need to be doing this process if you don't. Um, you know, shame on you. You will trash your gimbal bearing, guaranteed, at the very least. Uh, if Once your gimbal bearing goes, if, if you keep riding it, then you'll trash your engine coupler and you'll have uh, some real huge problems at that point. Uh, probably wear out the, the U-joints in your upper unit as well. So do yourself a favor. If you found this video, uh, make sure you spend the time and uh, get it uh, adjusted. Hope you liked the video. Take it easy, everybody.